Hey THB, it's uh, Cookie here. Uh, I just threw my bag onto my cart and um, just wanted to show you a little bit. Uh, this, this is on a Click Gear uh, 3.0. Excuse the mud I got on my tires yesterday. Um, so here's the bottom and I actually have the, uh, the bottom strap. Uh, instead of going in front of this little clear, little cool looking thing here, um, I put it up above this little notch, the little handle where you could pick it up from. And then the top one is actually coming out from the side so it's not blocking access to any pockets. Um, I have it going right on top of the uh, the handle and the same thing on this side um, not blocking any pockets you can see I have my uh, my swing wing there hanging off um, so here's just looking you know inside the bag a, a little bit if you will um, I have the uh, J-Man CI9s in here but I uh, just pulled that out you can see how easy that is and then you can probably maybe hear that little that's it latching into the bottom and the grip hitting it um, but really the purpose I wanted to do two things here. Show you this. I pulled up my Betonardi for the purpose of this. Um, this is my Seymour with the uh, Superstroke uh, Slim on it. It does fit into the very top one easily and it also fits into any of the other compartments here. So however you want it organized, um, you could do it. Uh, something that struck me as potential a problem is if you had clubs that are shorter than standard length when this goes to click in, it clicked in right there with the standard length, uh, you know, 56, 52 degree wedge. But um, if you happen to have clubs cut down, the wedge might hit this, uh, this plastic piece and not allow the bottom to snap in completely. So I'm out here on my driveway. As you can see right there where my driveway, it's gonna, comes off the, uh, comes off the concrete, hits some asphalt, and goes up a curve. I'm gonna run and push my bag up there and this will probably see the this will probably be about the most you'd see uh, your bag bouncing around on the course or something and um, you can see I have everything uh, locked in oh sorry everything locked in here and situated um, you can tell some clubs due to the size already hit each other anyways um, just a little bit so this isn't gonna fix that but it is gonna keep it from bouncing around I mean you'd expect some chatter from doing that and uh, look like a damn fool but here we go we're running and we go down, bam, woo! And I didn't hear a single club rattling into each other. Let's do it again. Down. So my bag actually left the ground there and no chatter. So that was the point of this video. So let me upload this. Hope it helps. Let me know if you guys got questions. Oh, and for uh, Dog Daddy, I put 16 balls in here. And um, I still have room for probably another 10 more before I would even approach to come over the edge here. The edge of the top of the pocket and no issues with 16 in there. So I'd comfortably say at least uh, two dozen before you may start to run into a problem with the, uh, the bag pocket pushing back out. Thanks guys.